Good afternoon, class. Have a seat. Let's go. So at this point, we are looking at perimeter A and area. Volume is still um, approaching that section of work. Uh, for our work, you had 1.7. Right. Let's start with 1.7. This is also known as composite shapes, okay, where you've got more than one shape within a diagram. It's composite. There's a few things together, okay. So this is, um, which page are we on here? So this is, oh, there's only one exercise, no? Is exercise one on page 177. Okay, so we're looking at number 1.7. Okay. So this is area only. So area is going to be the, the area of shape A plus the area of shape B plus the area of shape C. Not so. So in shape A and B, it's a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times breadth. The area of a triangle so half base times perpendicular. If you're looking at shape A, his length is 7 and his base is, his breadth is 3. So 7 times 3 plus. For B, shape B, so half a base, which is not marked, and the height is not marked. But we know that this length here is going to be 3. So this length here must be? 6. six. And you see that? 3 plus 6 minus 9. And this length is 7, so that is also 7. But this is 2, so that is? 5. So we have a 5 by uh, 5 um, uh, perpendicular height and a base of 6. Can you see that, people? So it's going to be half, my base, which is 6, times the perpendicular height, which is 5. Plus area of the shape here, we see it's going to measure 6 by 2. Nine, Sorry? Nine. Not 9, 6. Because if you're looking at shape C, that is your length and that is your breadth. You understand? So it's not 9. We'll start here. So it's going to be 21 plus 15 plus so, the given answer 27, 28, uh, 48. 48 centimeters. Okay. You guys understand? Just look at 1.12. So that is how it's lying on this, on this uh, page here. You didn't do 1.2 up. Okay. okay, so that's... Uh, so 1.8 I must do. area. So the parameter mean we have start here and I must add that date which is unmarked. So I must calculate that first. Not so. So if this is 8 then this length is 8. And that length is 4 and 4. Why? They are given equal. So I now got a right angle triangle here. Can you see that? Measuring 4, 90 and 3. So I'm going to calculate this length here. But thank you. Let's call it x for now. So I say x squared is equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared. The reason? But thank you. You see there's no letters there. So I don't have to say angle D. Do I have to say the reason? 
is not in geometry. So I'm in geometry where the reason must be said. Okay. Yes. What's your question? Would you like to ask it anyway? That's fine. You got the answer. So what is this going to give us? 16 plus? 